If you know this, I really believe covert narcissists will suffer a lot. Covert narcissists are individuals who exhibit traits of both public and private narcissism. If you have lived with or are currently in a relationship with a covert narcissist, you may recognize these three types. This video aims to shed light on how these hidden narcissistic roles impact those around them and helps you determine if a covered narcissist is present in your life. I'm deeply grateful to all the individuals who have joined my channel, subscribed to my videos, or contributed in any way. Your unwavering support means the world to me, and I wanted to express my sincere appreciation. The public face. First, let us examine the public persona of the covered narcissist. In public settings, they skillfully conceal their true nature. They adopt a facade of politeness, respectfulness, and charm. Even those who lean towards shyness often appear friendly and approachable to others. Covert narcissists place great importance on how others perceive them. They treat the world as their stage, always striving to please. Consequently, their public image usually portrays them as people-pleasers, reliable individuals who set positive examples for others to follow. Covert narcissists may exhibit outgoing personalities, exuding happiness and vivacity. However, their true identity lies not within the persona they project, but in the abusive and vindictive aspects they conceal or withhold. Identifying covert narcissists can be more challenging because they may present with both extroverted and introverted traits. Introverted covert narcissists, in particular, may be harder to detect as they do not possess the typical narcissistic personality traits. They are less overt in their pursuit of attention and prefer to maintain a composed demeanor. In the case of introverted covert narcissists, a dedicated video has been created to provide deeper insights into this specific subtype. For those interested, please refer to the link displayed on the screen or in the description box below. If you have not yet watched it, I strongly encourage you to explore this subtype after viewing this video. Regardless of whether they lean towards shyness or outgoing behavior, covert narcissists invest significant effort into upholding a fullest facade. Delving into the intricate facets of a public figure's life reveals a labyrinth of contradictions and hidden truths. The covert narcissist, in particular, expertly crafts a facade in the public eye, deftly curating an image that garners approval and admiration. This intricate dance of maintaining appearances demands considerable effort. A constant display of smiles, positivity, and assistance to everyone they encounter. Yet, beneath this meticulously constructed exterior, a starkly different reality unfolds. Upon returning home, the covert narcissist sheds the mask, revealing a wearied soul. The proximity to loved ones does not usher in warmth, but rather intensifies the mistreatment. Private life becomes a theater of mood swings, scathing criticism, the silent treatment, and malevolent glares. Behind closed doors, the covert narcissist transforms into an abuser and a control freak, subjecting those closest to them to the darkest aspects of their personality. It's an unsettling paradox where the public saint metamorphoses into a private tormentor. The longer one enables the narcissist's duplicitous existence, the more insidious their behavior becomes. Speaking out against the fabricated image becomes crucial, as silence inadvertently aids the narcissist's deceptive narrative. The importance of exposing the stark contrast between their public facade and private malevolence cannot be overstated. Shifting the lens to the core of a covert narcissist's identity unveils a complex interplay of emotions hidden behind various masks. Beyond the anger or apparent contentment lies a profound suddenness and self-loathing. Unidentified fears haunt their nights and overwhelming shame plagues their waking hours. Striving to meet unattainable self-expectations, they are their harshest critics, locked in a perpetual cycle of scolding. Self-loathing shapes the essence of a covert narcissist, forcing them to confront their own reflection, devoid of external embellishments. In the solitude of their homes, they grapple with their emotions, concealing the depths of their despair from the world. Escaping from social interactions, they seek solace in destructive habits, be it alcohol, pornography, drugs, or other vices. Self-harm becomes an integral aspect of their existence, 
with repercussions extending beyond their own well-being to impact those in their proximity. Unveiling the intricacies of their depression and suicidal thoughts becomes paramount in understanding the multifaceted nature of a covert narcissist's struggles. Exploring these facets is not just an act of scrutiny, but an invitation to empathy and a call to break the silence surrounding the hidden battles within. In the intricate tapestry of the narcissist's persona, we've explored the myriad traits that shape their existence. Like a Tremedian adapting to its surroundings, they effortlessly assume different roles dictated by the situation and their objectives. It's a captivating dance where people, drawn by their charisma, find solace, laughter, and even love. In the social arena, the narcissist transforms into a virtuoso chameleon, skillfully catering to the needs of those around them, cultivating respect and admiration as if it were their professional duty. Yet, behind the public facade lies a clandestine reel marked by abuse and control, casting a dark shadow on those closest to them. This private role, shrouded in secrecy, is the narcissist's most guarded performance. Their self-loathing, profound enough to birth this hidden identity, becomes the driving force behind their actions. Despite external achievements, the happiness they sought eludes them, and their entire life becomes a masquerade concealing the internal anguish. Consider this. Have you, dear reader, encountered the enigmatic allure of a narcissist's persona, drawn into the characters they weave to elicit sympathy and admiration? The question of their significance lingers. When stripped of their controlled environment, do you feel a sense of helplessness, grappling with the unknown complexities that lie beneath the surface of their power dynamics? Perhaps you've glimpsed into the labyrinth of their addiction and self-harm, discovering a realm obscured from casual observers. In the comments, a space for shared narratives and thoughts awaits. The video's allotted time may have concluded, but your engagement has just begun. Reflect on your experiences, share your insights, and let the community unfold as a forum for understanding. As we wrap up, the exploration of narcissism extends beyond this video. Your thoughts, stories, and perspectives enrich the dialogue. Your time is valued, and as you navigate the week ahead, may it be filled with insights and understanding. Leave your comments below and let the conversation resonate in the corridors of shared experiences. Wishing you a wonderful week ahead.